guys are controllers. I guess like rough a little bit. Um, a little firm, like sit in their positions even if they're wrong. Yeah, strong, strong will. sex is a mystery to me. Um, I'm not well versed in how to relate, but if I were, um, I'd be able to describe this better to you. Since I cannot, I would certainly say that females are mysterious, um, often unique. Guys aren't emotional enough, that's one. And guys tend to be focused more on, on like cars and like, I don't know, girls and sex and... It's not true. <laughs> because we've been socially stratified to believe that's completely true. I would like to think that women are more emotional or are prepared for certain things like at home, and men are more emotionally disconnected and providers, but that's not really actually the case. That's just what we're told because the man wants to give us that. I guess I grew up in a house where... Did you wear that? The, the, the man is responsible for the household. Not necessarily saying that the, the woman needs to stay at the house, but I feel like if there are like children involved, maybe that's the, their primary need. Or I feel like the roles could be switched, but usually in society it's not. If I could make up the rules, the women would stay home and take care of the children and the men would provide for the family. Well, question is, who can get pregnant? The woman. The women can get pregnant. I think right now, especially, it's definitely changing. Um, women are becoming, are being more introduced into the workforce, and um, they're just, they're becoming breadwinners, or at least um, there's two breadwinners in the family a lot of the time, because it's still not very accepted for men to you know, be Mr. Mom. They definitely, classically, not classically, like traditionally, traditionally, very different. Yeah. Um, but because culture is changing, obviously that's been subject to change. So it's still in the process of changing. But the rules are much more parallel and equal now. I think still it's more stereotypical for guys to be the working in a family. But that obviously is changing a lot because of things are going. Not to say women should be pressured to stay at home, but it usually falls on women's shoulders. Um, even just like finding childcare and things like that is usually women's job. To, to when a when a father comes, uh, the mothers are usually the caretakers, like the ones that provide emotional support. 
they are the ones that go pick up the kids from school and other caretakers like that. Men do not. Men not, are not allowed to. And that is a cultural thing. So that's not about equality, that's about culture. So I think often we say men and women need to be equal, but we don't actually look at what, what the culture is saying. But it's also social expectations. Like we all stereotype. We do stereotype. Um, um, I don't know. Say what you will about this, but being a gentleman, being chivalrous, as much as it has a lot of historical aspects to chauvinism, it, it's still a lot of it, it's showing respect. It has nothing to do with chauvinism. It's just merely a way to show respect with tradition and culture involved, which is actually kind of a beautiful thing. Like culture is very, you can kind of express the things that otherwise you wouldn't be able to express and show respect that otherwise would be difficult to express. There's a level of equality, but given different roles. Men are called to love. Uh, their family as Christ loved the church, which is an impossible task. So that is a higher task than, or a higher calling, so to speak, than a female who is not specifically called to that. But that being said, um, within the family, there should be a level of equality, not where, I don't think the man should make more decisions than the wife should. If it's not mutual, then it's not like shared by everyone. So why would you choose it that way? And action. Oh yeah. Describe some characteristics of the opposite sex. <laughs> like this guy? Go ahead. Okay, so. <laughs> Describe some characteristics of the opposite sex. <laughs> Got him? I feel like I should text it like this, like I'm at a talk show or something. Yeah. Do you feel like it? Kind of like more. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. I'm a Barbie. 